This is a comparison of an Ultrafire WF-502B 1000 lumen and a Viseri VZ230 230 lumen tactical flashlight. For the comparison, we are using identical 18650 3600 milliamp lithium ion batteries that were charged in the same charger. The Ultrafire has a Cree XM-L T6 LED unit and the Viseri has a Cree XR-E Q5 LED. These flashlights have identical user interfaces. They both have the same five modes that are changed via the on-off button and a memory feature to remember the last mode. The Ultrafire does not have the ability to change its focus, whereas the Viseri has a zoom focus. We took temperature measurements at the start and then various points along the test. Their cool starting temperatures was around 81 degrees Fahrenheit. With both lights turned on and running for 14 minutes, the temperature on the Ultrafire rose to 154 degrees, which is far too hot to hold. The Viseri light is at 104 degrees, which would feel warm to your hand. At 19 to 30 minutes, the Ultrafire reached its highest temperature of 158 degrees and the Viseri reached 112 degrees. Another test at 27 minutes showed the Ultrafire was starting to drop a little while the Viseri reached its highest temperature of 112 degrees. At an hour and 17 minutes, the Ultrafire has nothing but a faint glow. It started to get dim around 1 hours and 5 minutes, but we ran out of storage on the camera. So we decided to recharge the batteries overnight and run a test again. On the second run, somewhere in the first 20 minutes, the Ultrafire completely died. It obviously hit its 158 degrees external temperature and fried something inside. Upon taking it apart, we found that it melted the wires inside to the integrated circuit that controls the functions. Quality 1000 lumen lights, which cost around $160, have a step-down feature to protect them from heat buildup. So after an initial burst of 1000 lumens, it steps down the flashlight to protect it from the heat buildup. So it goes from 1000 lumens and within 3 minutes it goes down to 700 lumens, then down to 500 lumens within 30 minutes. Without this protection, a light will melt like this one did. The Viseri light lasted for 3 hours before it came dim. One other problem with the Ultrafire is that one of the rubber O-rings broke the second time we changed the battery. You can see that the O-rings are thinner than the O-rings on the Viseri light. Plus Viseri gives a couple of spares. The beam on the Ultrafire is concentrated in the middle with a large spill area around it. There is no adjustment to the beam. When the Viseri light is zoomed out, there is only a slight brightness in the center of the beam. When the Viseri light is zoomed all the way in, the focused beam is actually brighter than the Ultrafire, but there is no spill area around the beam. Outdoors, you can see the Ultrafire has a large coverage area, but the Viseri has a brighter center spot. In the outdoors, for seeing things off in the distance, the Viseri wins. For closer up objects, the Ultrafire wins. So if you need a flashlight you can rely on for emergency purposes, the Ultrafire is not it. It simply cannot be used for extended periods. Its primary use would be for short, non-critical tasks. The Viseri VZ230 is versatile in that you can change its beam to suit your needs. It also comes with an AAA battery carrier, so for extended power outages you can use off-the-shelf batteries. It is built to a much higher quality standard, so it can also be used for emergency purposes.